Well, hello again from Kingston. It's a late Friday afternoon and the opening date for the bridge has been declared now, December 13th. So we're in the final stages. Lots of interesting activity this week. So follow along and be sure not to miss the wildlife. I'll see you at the end. Thanks for watching. Monday, to put it mildly, was not the warmest of days. Strong winds blew drifting snow and prevented the use of the over-the-bridge platforms. Checks and inspections did occur. Piles of gravel on the old access road to the causeway showed that some removal was still taking place and the material was being used to eliminate the old roadway and to create a uniform slope. It became clear that one of the few remaining trailers on the east side was about to move. When the time came, it was a delicate matter to manoeuvre such a long object in a confined space. But the considerable care and effort invested was, of course, ultimately crowned with success. Predictably, the removal of gravel on the west side continued relentlessly. And the day ended, just as it had begun, very windy. Tuesday morning saw one of the two remaining trailers on Gore Road moved to the West End. It's proving to be very convenient to have a bridge across the river. Shortly after that move, the trailer staged the day before departed the site. All the while, the hard-working bar construction crew continued work on the former access road. Meanwhile, out on the barely frozen waters of the river, monitoring and maintenance of the sensor buoys and pollution control measures continued. The integrity of the protective curtains surrounding the work site is scrupulously maintained. Curtains protect the river, even in an area where restoration of native species and very considerate remediation measures are being effected. Evidence of winding down the project continues to accrue including the removal of the last of the five eco-crossings on the Rock Causeway. The work was a masterclass in the operation of a complex machine by a very experienced operator. Excavators are surprisingly adaptable. With space on the causeway at a premium, no time is lost in removing the crane mats from the area. Removing the shoring boxes can be a struggle, but eventually they surrender to the power of the machine and the will of the operator. An early start to the day on Wednesday saw the first workers arrive and the truck roll down the new service road for work on gravel. A crew from Willcore arrived to begin work on refining the expansion joints. They would move out onto the bridge, unload a special machine with a rotary action that roughens the concrete 
for an epoxy finish to be applied. Very close to the will core work, a crew was using the Genic platform to finalise work on the concrete face of the expansion joint. Not very far away, below the bridge, the bar construction crew were laying filter mats prior to putting a rock face on the new shoreline. Black and MacDonald and Senior Beck cooperated to place new road signs on the Gore Road Point St Mark Drive intersection. last remaining trailer on Gore Road departed for a new home on the western spans. On the west end, the versatility of the excavator was once again demonstrated as they disposed of the sea cans that had bordered the old eco passage. The redundant materials will await removal from site behind the area that is being remediated on the shoreline. With the live stakes very much in evidence. Thursday saw large rocks placed on the margins of the new service road to prevent vehicular trespass. Down below, the green-thumbed crew of Sharp Landscaping taking advantage of the fine weather, brought mulch to the new trees. Up on Gore Road, Sousa Ready Mix arrived to fill in the kerb on the portion that had been missing as part of the old access road. And to show off, as they always do, their hallmark hand finishing. They could not have helped but notice a very large and heavy cargo of crane mats depart. Over on the west end, where the removal of gravel continued without a break, items were being readied for shipment. first of the bridge buggies was being broken down for transportation. Friday revealed an increasing accumulation of equipment and materiel on the west end. And it also saw the bar excavator beginning to crush the sea cans that had been removed from the eco passage. It likely goes without saying at this stage that the removal of gravel continued apace. And I think that this would be a good moment to go to wildlife.
Well, I think you'll agree that was quite an eventful week. And of course, there's still more to come. Although we have an opening date, there's still activity. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing. And I'll see you next week.